but हेलो सर जी हायर प्रेत हाउ यू हम दोनों को अनम्यूट करता हूं मैं ये वी कैन टॉक इट्स प्रीटी हॉट टुडे कैसे सर हाउ यू सर वेरी वेल हो गया डिनर हो गया आपका हाँ That's nice. Healthy people have early dinner. Hey, Snigda. Hey, Cecil. Just a minute. So all of us are unmuted. We can all talk. How are you doing, Snigda? Let me say hello to Arpit because he did that yesterday and I didn't respond. मुझे ऐसे जैसे आपने बताया ना तो मजा आ रहा है पहले मैं एकदम आउटलाइन बना के ऐसा करती थी तो अब मुझे लग रहा है आप शायद थोड़ा एसेंस समझ में आ रहा है तो धीरे धीरे आएगा Yes, Salen sir was talking to Arpit. Hi. Yeah, just saying hi to him. Arpit. Hello, sir. How are you? Well, well. How are you? Where are you? Gurgaon, sir. Same place. <laughs> yeah, apna Arpit hai. This is Indrani. Nee, yeah, yeah. Oh, Arpit. Ah, uh, Indrani. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apna hi Arpit hai. Hi Arpit, Indrani here. Hello ma'am. How are you? I'm good ma'am. Good to see you here. Yes. Yeah? Good to meet you here. Thank you so much. Same here. You see a little sweat here. I actually climbed the mountain just now. <laughs> Literally. Went to a dam nearby. Came back, had a bath, but still like it was so tiring and so like it, it took about one hour to go and come back. I am still breathing hard. It was fun. Okay, so we'll wait for another minute for in case anybody wants to join. It's almost nine thirty. Yeah. Cecil, how are you doing? Cecil, your camera is on. You're you're uh, you're unmuted. You can speak. Can you hear us? Hello. We are very far. <laughs> What time it is there now? For us, it's uh, six o'clock uh, afternoon. Six o'clock in the afternoon. Wow, that's just three hours, three three and a half hours. Yep, yeah. uh, later than us. And you win, my husband. You follow the course now. <laughs> Very nice. He, he never had draw before, but he listened yesterday, and he finally understood the perspective when he's making his first drawing for today. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, Kasturi. Good. Good to see you here. Great, Kasturi. Okay, I'll also unmute you. We have few people. Let's let's unmute everybody. Yes, so everybody can talk to each other at any point of time. If you get noise disturbances, just speak back to me, and I will then mute you people. Otherwise, six people uh, unmuted is absolutely fine. Superb. So, how many of you could do the homework? Arpit could draw a few. I have seen Arpit's drawing. I have seen Snigda's drawings. Uh, Kasturi, uh, can you show some of your drawings?
Kasturi, you are unmuted. Would you like to come or one second? Let me see the chat box. Do you say something? Where? Yes, Kasturi, we can hear you. Speak, please. We are quite old, so we are not very good with the technology. <laughs> hey, <Okay>. Cecil. <laughs> Hello. So we are Hello to now. both of you. <laughs> so he's making a yeah. third room. He's very proud of it. One second, one second. Kasturi, just hold on. Yeah. Sure. That's nice. That's nice. Really nice. Wow. Fantastic. That's amazing. Uh, great. Awesome, and, Cecil. And um, Okay, can you hold a little away, a little away, yeah, yeah, a little away more? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so, okay, I can't see the other side. One second, let me, let me, let me take the chat box off. One second. Just, just, yeah, now, 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 show, please. Yeah, yeah now, now we can see, now it's full screen. Yep. Okay, that's nice. That's really nice, yeah. You can add lines on the ceiling on the floor also, so that will also give you some dimension, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you have drawn it already. I don't think you have drawn, right? I can't see it. Then yes. The floor, the floor no, 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 he's not. Uh... He's not drawing. Superb. So Kasturi, we go go, go to Kasturi now. Oh, Sorry? sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Cecil. Um, this was my best, like, most detailed drawing. Um, there. That's nice. That's correct, also. Yeah, I had some trouble finding what the vanishing point was. So this, like, trying with other things, and then this was like my third attempt. I think I'm getting a bit better at it. It. Um, it's it's actually lower than I initially thought it was, but it's still tricky. Like I see it more from like the angle of a table than from just naturally knowing where it will be in the horizon. So that's my issue. Okay, so this this is a very natural problem. All of us actually have gone through that. Yeah, it takes a little time. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. It takes a little time. Uh, there is no no rule thumb rule in terms of figuring out where the vanishing point is right it's an assumption it's like almost you are you are actually uh, sitting at a driver's seat and you are driving a car it's, you're not actually looking at the wheel you're actually only assuming okay this is what the dimension of the car is right and with practice you just get better and better this is exactly like that right you have to assume that this is my eye level out there and that could be my vanishing point and check it out there will be errors error could be like few feet to few inches and then it will narrow down to just few centimeters right it will just get better and better with time but i'm so happy that you know your your technique is absolutely correct and you've got it right yeah so i can actually very happily move to the next level now yeah okay. thank you thank you Kasturi. Kasturi, where are you joining from philadelphia philadelphia thank you so much great okay anybody else wants to join who else is here? Nishreen is here. Nishreen, you want to try? You want to come? Uh, Sarah, I cannot. Uh, OK, yesterday's class, there was, uh, we did uh, one point perspective, uh, um, not in just in terms of cube that we did day before yesterday. So yesterday, we had uh, uh, basically did with solid objects around our house and in empty spaces, right? Uh, it will take me a half an hour if I have to recap everything. Uh, why don't you just go to the channel where the rest of the videos are and you'll be able to find that video, yeah? Just go through that. If you have specific difficulty, you can just get back to me or you can ask here in the next class. I'll try and quickly uh, recap that, yeah? I hope that helps, Sarah. Yeah. But no problem, uh, Nishrin. It happens. We all are caught up in different ways 
Great, awesome. So basically, what do we do now? This is a moment where we actually overtake the morning session. Yeah, the morning session. I actually ask people. I actually ask everybody to do the same equal number of uh, assignment, which is like about eight to ten pages of uh, one point perspective from real life. And what happened in the morning is most people did two, three, four. Yeah. One or two actually exceeded my expectation, but but that doesn't help. And there are over a hundred people, and the average was as low as probably four. And uh, I said, there's nothing more I can teach today unless you finish those minimum ten. And I continued explaining what one point perspective is because many people struggle because you know unless one point is clear, you cannot actually go to two point perspective. So today, right now, it's a moment that in the evening class is going to overtake the morning class. We are actually going to. I'm going to talk about uh, two point perspective now. Are you excited? Snigda says yay. Kasturi says yay. Arpit says yay. We're killing it. Yes, of course. Govind, I want that light to be off. The one there. Huh? I think that is actually creating a lot of. to see if that can be off no ha huh, that's better no yeah i think that's better right there's a lot of glare happening on the screen ko nahi kya water hai ha ha nahi kya no problem no problem okay so so what happens is uh to understand one point perspective i actually requested all of you to uh face a wall or face a surface in front of you right if it's a solid object what happens is you'll see the nearest point and you won't be able to see the other points like other four points you'll be able to see four point on your side like suppose it's a cube in front of you or a stool in front of you the nearest four point you are going to see and uh, from the other side you see either two point or maximum third point you can will never be able to see the fourth point at all but if it's a reverse cube for example a room a room is a reverse cube where the inside is empty yeah you are inside so you are actually looking at the four corners so you can see the four corners in your in, in front of you and that's when you will be able to do see one point perspective yeah so all these lines will be leading to some vanishing point somewhere and that's where is uh, uh, basically that point is the vanishing point and therefore we call it one point perspective okay now what happens if you if you turn around a bit suppose i was like this which i was facing a wall like you know like exactly the way you are facing a wall yeah i am facing another wall yeah, which is right in front of me what happens if i turn it around a bit like for example if i turn it around that side what happens i've turned it around yeah it's okay yeah. i'm holding it yeah. so what is going to happen there's another point that has emerged yeah another point that has emerged somewhere else that's, that's that's very interesting actually so where so or if these lines which is right in front of you if suppose an uh covid can i take a screenshot here yeah I'll, and then we go to the uh drawing one second let let me take the one second no? let me take this thing off just taking the screenshot and we are actually going to the uh, any or any of the software where we, i can actually draw and show it to you yeah so that's what we are trying to start to just hold on for a while thanks for your patience Thank you. 
Yay! Thanks, Govind. Okay, I hope you can see the see the screenshot right now. Can you? Yep. Great. Super. Now, what is happening is initially when we talked about the clients going and meeting somewhere, right? So all these things were going and meeting at our eye level, right? So somewhere like going there. Yeah. And like this, and even like. Correct. So all these lines are actually meeting at that point, right? Now, what, what is going to happen to the other lines? Now we have almost like same. So I'm not able to draw straight absolutely because it's slightly awkward position here. But more or less, you got the point, right? And again, like you see another one like this, and it goes. So all these points are meeting at this vanishing point. And that's my edge line. Yeah. There's the horizon. Yeah. There's the VP there. Okay more or less now what what is happening to these lines where are they going there are lines here also no they are also going they're not straight now it was straight when i was facing the uh, uh, facing the wall straight then this was they, they were all straight so what is going to happen is all these lines they are also going and meeting somewhere right somewhere far off the screen this line this line this line yeah Now what is they will also meet at some point of time on this line itself not anywhere else yeah it will go go beyond like uh, how things are here it will go beyond and it will go straight further down there and all these guys are going to meet out there like straight if you just make extend this it will go and meet so if this is vanishing point one which is the most obvious one yeah that becomes out there like much further than the frame that becomes vanishing point two yeah so that's what you have to understand so this is like how things happen in real life yeah so let me now explain it on the uh on the paper now yeah Govin, can i switch this off close this no i don't want to save don't save Yay. Yep, all this jugar we have been doing every day. It's good fun actually. Thank you so much for entertaining all this. It's a lot of fun to do, find a new place, put all this. Daytime it's more fun because at night I have to repeat the place because of limitation of network and light. Uh, at night, what I do is uh, during the day, I try and move to different places and uh, show the campus. Yeah? So, what I was not talking about, let me kind of go a little on the side. Yeah. So, basically, what I was saying is if there's, there's this horizon edge line, yeah, there are two points basically for everything that we have, there are two points. Yeah, right? Suppose I, I, I stay inside the heart, that's the corner of corner of the house, yeah? Huh, Govind? Okay, you can you can't see much, right? Okay, sorry. So I'm saying if this is the my eye level, yeah, and this is the corn, corner wall. Yeah? Okay, there's there's a little joke here. Now, because you come here, you have to tolerate my sense of humor. So all of you can understand Hindi, right? Sushil, you can understand Hindi. Can you? Sushil, can I hear from you? Text? Can you text? If you don't understand Hindi, I'll not crack this now. <laughs> Come again. <laughs> Nahi, okay. <laughs> Chalo, I'll, I'll, send, I'll translate and send it to you, but that won't be much of fun anyways. For others, uh, yeah, I'll send it to you on WhatsApp. Okay. 
थोड़ी थोड़ी आती है फैंटास्टिक गुड आ जाएगी पूरी तरह से आ जाएगी ओके सो फॉर दोज अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू मेक यू वेट मच एंड ऑल्सो लाइक आई एम इचिंग टू क्रैक दिस सो एक दीवार दूसरे दीवार को क्या बोलता है ना एनी बडी एनी गैसेस what does one wall say to the other and the fun the answer is uh, actually the fun is in hindi there's no fun in english nobody look okay, what does ek deewar dusre deewar ko bolta hai chal chal kone mein milte hai so let me translate it in english for cecil what does one wall say to the other It says let's meet at the corner okay so this is the corner this is the corner most line Now what is going to happen? There's a wall this side. There's a wall that side. How do I draw that wall? Yeah, there's a wall this side and this. If I have to draw a wall this side, what would happen is, yeah, that's that's the corner. So if I have, supposing this is vanishing point one and this is vanishing point two. Yeah? Suppose I extend this is vanishing point two and this is vanishing point one. Yeah, if that is the case, for convenience, I'm just saying V P one and V P two. Okay. What would happen is I get this line here and extend this line here, right? I draw this line here and then extend this line, yeah, without any distortion, yeah, yeah. So that's the wall that I'm getting, right? Then I get other wall, which is like, which could be an extension coming from here, 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 and then you draw straight. another wall that's going to come from here here so what is happening is i've got the corner of the house yeah which is like this like this and like this that's the corner yeah so the corner of that anything that happens on the house suppose i have to do again like some furniture here now what would that happen if i have to have some furniture there the bottom of the furniture would be like this it will come Like this, so I go and get the bottom line, and then I get this line. So what I've got is I've got the bottom this thing. This is not going to be important now. When this will become important afterwards, I draw a straight up whatever height I need. Suppose this is the height that I need of the cupboard. Okay, that you have to decide. Like this, this is the height. If you want to higher up, whatever, that's up to you. Then this is the edge. This is where it is touching the wall. Up there. Again, the line will come from here, which you can see a line happening here. So this gets cut here. Another line will go and come and meet it here. Another line will go and come and meet here, right? Now I have to see where I want to end this furniture. If I have to end the furniture somewhere here, then I have to put a line, cut the line here, right? Furniture ends here, right? Then again, I'll get a line on top of this, which goes here. Which touches here. So this is what my supposing a uh, sanduk or whatever may look like would be this one. Yeah, this one is next to this wall. Yeah, is that correct? Hope you are getting this. Anybody has a confusion? Yeah, I'm. I'm a bit confused. The upper line, the the highest line on the on the page right now, Praveen. What is is that a wall? Is that part of the wall? This one, this is wall. This is so the, the this is the ceiling. Yeah, this is the right hand side wall. This is the left hand side wall. So the vanishing point of the right hand side wall is on the left hand side. The vanishing point of the left hand side wall is on the right hand side. So this is this is how it is. Now let me draw a few more. Maybe it will get clear. Suppose I have to draw a Suppose there's a TV on top of it. Now, there's a bottom line of the TV I got. Yeah. Then I got the suppose this is a huge TV. That big huge TV set. So this is how how big it is. Now what would happen is I'll have to cut it somewhere. I've cut this. I have to cut the TV from the other side also. I've cut the TV from the other side. Okay. So that's how the TV is now. Yeah. This is on this wall. Now, if some something is some painting is there, or maybe like a door is there on this wall, how the door would be? Suppose it does the door, yeah? Does the door you do? 
Uh, how big is the door? Now, supposing this is the height, where do you look at it? So the line has to come from here. And that's the top of the door. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that becomes a thing. The bottom one have cut it from here. So anything on this wall, I'm taking the anything on this wall, I'm taking help of that one. Anything on this wall, I'm taking help of this one. Suppose I have to make some element here, but how do I make it? So suppose in, I, I I draw suppose in a squarish kind of a thing, similar of this side, or maybe smaller one. Let's see. So I do is. I make a line like this. This line basically is coming from there. Yeah. And is getting vertical lines. You can actually make absolutely vertical. Yeah. Just know. Then the line is going to come from here, like this one. And the line is going to come from here, is this, sorry, a slightly up this one. Yeah. And then you're cutting it where? Whether it's touching the floor. So basically, cutting it goes going straight here. And then again, this one, this one is basically again joining here. So that's the line you are getting. And this line again, it is going joining. So anything on this wall, getting a help from the other one. Anything from this wall, you're getting a help from the other one, yeah? Is that clear so far? I, I, so anything that's on the right side of the page, you're taking help from the left side vanishing point and vice versa. Mostly, that's what. Mostly, I'm taking help from this one, but I'm also cutting it from here. Or even on the right hand side, I'm taking help of the right hand side also. So, so that's how also do we know that? Sorry. So how do we know when to do what? Ah, so in anything that is like the dimension is like this, like going away from you. I'm taking help of this one. Anything that dimension is that that this way, I'm taking help from that one. That's it. That's the only thing that you have to remember. Yeah. Okay. So supposing I have to draw some floor lines. Yeah, floor lines are important. Draw floor lines. That's a good practice, actually. Yeah. And then you see the things coming out from the other side. They're all like coming from that that side. Huh? Sorry, this this is like going to like this. Yeah. So more or less like this. So this is how. Things happen. Supposing there's a false ceiling, what would happen? False ceiling would also come from here, like this, go like this, okay? Another point will come from here and go like this, okay? Now there's a dimension. Yep. So can you see that? Like there's a false ceiling here. So, so anything goes on top is like this, anything that is on the bottom. So you can. Actually, do things. Suppose there's a, there's a painting here. What would happen? So it's it's a painting here. It's a painting here, right? How do I cut it? So I have to cut it from this one only. So I get the top of the painting. I get the bottom of the painting. Yeah. So that's the painting. This is the painting here. Yep. So this see this this is just for me to show it to you. What would happen is you. I, I'm going to go a little close for anybody who wants to see. So you can take a screenshot if you want, uh, if that makes sense to you. Yeah. So that's okay. So yeah. So so basically, what I try to do is, uh, so first I took the corner of the room because I'm doing it from inside the house. It's very different when you're doing it from outside a building. Even that, I'm going to show it to you right now. Uh, even immediately after this, after I take questions on this. So I took the cornermost line, and then I took a vanishing point on the left hand side, and I took another vanishing point on the right hand side. You know, not every time that the vanishing point is going to fall on your paper, you have to remember. Right now, yes. Right now, you are learning, yes. But after a point, you just have to. It's all about judgment right it's all about judgment so all you have to do is kind of imagine that it's like another paper or two papers away is my vanishing point things will go slightly angular
but that will go beyond your frame yeah so that you have to remember let's open the chat box just we says yay or with jin yay we are okay those things are old chats no uh, yes yep yes nahi umpty dumpty okay bad joke that was sapna is here okay nishreen it is so clear when you explain but yesterday i tried sitting opposite my kitchen table to try and draw the kitchen but couldn't yeah so ding that happens that happens see for so many years we have been actually trained uh, we have been seen things differently right and uh, none of the drawing teacher actually told us this yeah this is how things happen if a drawing teacher in in standard 4th or 5th or 3rd maybe have had explained that you know we would have the world would have been very different now now it's something new like suddenly somebody saying okay this is how it is it always existed like this but we never saw it this way then it becomes slightly difficult right so uh, with a little practice and nishin i am also like and i'm going to share some videos or maybe you can look on youtube there are tutorials in just have to put the correct keywords you say one point perspective it will show you one point perspective it will so there's certain things which are established this is not like my theory these are already established uh, uh like when leonardo da vinci actually first explained it properly uh that this is how it works and uh, then people interpret it in very different way yeah for me for my own ways i have simplified it further right so i can actually uh, communicate to even a 6 year 7 year old and make that person see things this way now that's after like 40 years okay so arpit says what the size becomes a problem the proportions uh, if we are uh, ha ha okay so uh, okay so if if this is a small room by the way it's easier uh, it's a very interesting if the small room it's easier what i have to do is go to the cornermost uh, place like you know you back suit face one of the corners for two point perspective and for one point perspective if you want to do your back suit face a wall as simple as that and when once you are there you will you figure out where your eye level is and you then you draw uh it would be nice if you can pick up smaller objects like for example a thick dictionary you have picked up yeah suppose in this a dictionary here and and i have uh, how do i make it yeah it's a thick dictionary So this is the bottom of the dictionary. Suppose, and this is the bottom of the dictionary. Yeah. Now, what would happen is I'll see the thickness. Thickness would be like this. This is how it is. This goes like this, and this another one like this. I'm just saying things. The drawing would be somewhere like this. So you have this point, one point here, another point here, and then you have all these lines. Huh? So you can just play around. You can just have things in front of you, and the way you play around with it, you. have solid objects it will be nice to see solid ob objects the stui says can you show us your drawing again so that we can take another screenshot yes i'm going to keep trying of course there's no way you can't understand you just have to try and keep try very sincerely and again and again yeah and by the way let me just tell you the speed at which i'm seeing people are understanding is unthinkable uh this is how many classes we have done fourth fifth sixth i don't know how many classes uh in art college this comes somewhere around probably at the end of second year that people will come and teach teach you perspectives right it it takes a lot of time to understand this and the only the perspective class or maybe a still life what they call it this a cube which is which will, which will be in the center and you draw it for weeks so it takes a lot of time to understand yeah you are trying to do it really like a pop like uh, very very fast yeah so okay kasturi take a screenshot this is not a great drawing anyways again but nevertheless if you find it useful just tell me that huh? one second yeah go in not that way this way yeah yeah just take a screenshot if you can okay done thank you thank you kasturi Oh, that's a nice tilak that has come out. 
okay <laughs> let it be i should look like an artist also right so anyways so now what is happening is we are going to learn a little more of two point perspective how much time we have we have just 13 minutes we have 12 participants and uh, okay any anybody else has any questions on this do those who have joined new okay uh pankaj uh sapna rashi pallavi sara uh you have any questions anything that you want to ask yeah no questions nice very nice snigda says i think once we try then we'll have questions yes yes of course yes of course yes sara says it's pretty clear fantastic thank you okay and now we are going to draw a building from outside and see where the two point perspective is we're also going to see one point perspective in this building and we'll see two point perspective in this building right women can we just change this please Wow. You know blessing in disguise we are in the jungle and we hardly had any piece of paper and then suddenly we have Mr Raju Pujari I have introduced uh, uh, you with him and he's he's the the man friday he's the main person of this campus and uh, suddenly he comes and says you know uh, do you need chart papers I said of course I need chart papers but what kind of chart papers I have I have some chart papers then he gives me a huge bundle of chart papers these are these papers right <laughs> so i'm going to now i was using it very conservatively now thanks to raju bhai we are now uh, we can we have lots of paper here now we don't have to worry about the lockdown thing yeah superb okay so when we draw a building from outside yeah when you draw a building from outside what happens if it's a one point perspective then this is this is how the building is like if it's a building a uh, building will be like just like a cuboid it's a building yeah and then far out there suppose this is the this is my eye level this is a three story building suppose in yeah three story building and this is my eye level what would happen is i'll be able to see this going down somewhere it will get cut somewhere here right There's a building that I have. Okay? Then there'll be another building next to it. That supposing that's a five-story building. What would happen is I'll make it taller. Like I'll go straight and make it taller. Tall. Okay. Now I have this straight line. Again, cutting it like here, and then another line will go from here to this point. Then cut it straight. So all I'm doing is this is like. buildings this is one point perspective and and then if i have a road road will come from here yeah if i have footpath next to the road that will come from like this yeah? all these things are going to come from here right supposing you have you know lamp post so you have a lamp post here which is like like this yeah suppose you have a lamp post here what would happen is you We have another lamp post somewhere here. Now, what is going to happen is the height of the lamp post again going to go like this. So the next lamp post will be like this, not that higher. So this is a grid that you are having, yeah. So all these things are happening. Yeah. Now you have a tree here. Again, the tree length of the tree, height of the tree, more or less will be kind of monitored by this. The trees around. Some trees will be taller, smaller, but basic grid is going to be like this. Yeah? This is how it is, and then you can have um, other interesting structures here. Suppose it is another smaller building here. Yeah? This goes like this, yeah, and then it's crossed here. Whatever things happen, so this is how the one point perspective works. Huh? Single point. What about the two point perspective? Now, same building. I'm going. I'm. Go I have been looking straight towards a end point. So therefore, I'm getting a one point perspective. Huh? now if i have to basically turn a little around like turn this way then what am i going to see 
I'm going to look at again the building. There's a corner. This is the height, and then I look at this is this is going to be my H line. Yeah, that's my H line. Okay. Now, what would happen if this is the height? Suppose this is the height of the building. Yeah? So I'm going to get vanishing point two here. There's another vanishing point here, here, right? This is a two-point perspective happening. So I'm cutting this building from here and here. So that's my building here. Right? I'm cutting another building which is like higher again. So I'll how do I cut it? So this building will get supposing the building goes from here. Yeah. This is a higher building, double the size of this one. Yeah. This is goes like this. Again comes back like this. So this is my cut. Vertical lines will be absolutely vertical. Yeah. And then I can have a smaller one. Everything will follow this line, yeah. This line. And whenever you have to cut, suppose another taller building if I have here, taller building, that will again get cut from here. That's the way. This is a two-point perspective, right? And then another building here. This one, suppose it's a taller building, that will get cut from here. That's how it is. It will come like this because this will come here. So this is a, this is an exercise. You can keep doing this and have fun, right? Then there's a road here, there's a road junction here, right? There's road here. All kind of things you can do, right? You can have people walking. Suppose it is eye. This is your eye level. So this will be the head, yeah. So here's somebody walking, right? You can add some element here. Somebody walking. What is the height of somebody walking here? Almost the same. The head will be always at your eye level because you're looking, you're standing and taking this photograph, right? So your head will be here. There are people walking here with bags, yeah. I can and make them wear mask. You won't be able to see. Otherwise, I can make. Suppose if somebody is standing here, what will be the height? Guess any guesses? The head will be at the eye level. If you've taken the picture, yeah. If there's somebody out there standing, again the height will be high, eye level only. Yeah. So that's the fun. They actually can see. You can have supposing building windows. So how would happen? That will again like this line will go come from here. This line will come from here. Again, you want to do some kind of balcony here. Right. This line has come from here. Another line will come from here again. This is the balcony that you have. In balcony, this balcony will go come from here, cut the balcony. Yeah, so this is how things happen. Like anything that you see here. So this is the difference between one point perspective and two point perspective, right? So any questions, anybody? Any questions, anybody still here? Just just for dimensions, nothing else. Yay, I've drawn something. Pretty clear for Raju Kujari. Yes, I'll tell him. Sapna gets it. Sapna Pakka, na? I'm, I'll be really happy if you get this because, you know, you, you're such a fantastic artist. So Sapna is my niece and she's a, a Madhubani painting artist. And if she understands this perspective, nothing like it, yeah? Why point perspectives? Rashi? Rashi, apologies, I'm not able to understand you. Why point pers perspectives meaning what? No, you can't do without points, Rashi. Sorry. That's the whole point. You know, you have can't you have the entire Ramayana and they say, can we do without Ram? We can't do Ramayana without Ram, right? So you need point for perspective because that's how it is. Yeah? All, everything meets in a point. And at the end, what's the, what's the, what's the point? So what's the point of teaching that if there's no point? Sorry, that's my, my kind of humor. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, we have three more minutes. Evening time goes like this. Tush. Okay, exercise before the time gets over. The exercise is 
I want you to do 10 drawings. 10 drawings. Now, okay. It's not just 10 drawings of two point perspective objects, buildings, inside or outside, whatever. 10 drawings of it. And five from the real life. That's what I said. 10 from a, 10 explorations, which is from my imagination. And five from real life. Inside or outside, but five from real life, which you actually see in front of you and try to draw. Is that clear? So therefore, till tomorrow evening, you not tomorrow evening, by the way. Uh, we're going to have the next class on Monday evening. Tomorrow is Sunday and it's off day for you. How many of you are happy? So you get a lot of time to do this. That's why I'm giving you a little more exercise. Yeah? Placing things at different eye levels work. Of course, yes, it will work. You to play with placements, yes, as I was having the level on top, correct? Is more clear than morning for me. Yes, if you want to join both the sessions, anybody you are most open to do. Cecil says, happy Easter, happy Easter to you too. TK, two more minutes, people. Anybody who has a question, anybody who has a query. Uh, on Monday, I expect, I, I, I do I need to recap this because I believe this group is moving faster than the morning group. The reason being, uh, we have very small number of participants. Right now, I can see only 11 participants and one could be me. So there's just 10 participants, yeah? And uh, so uh, if need be, I will kind of recap this and I'm going to uh, show you some demonstrations. I'll click some pictures for you and show you how it actually it looks like from real life. But as of now, I believe Kasturi, uh, okay. So left side objects, uh, left side, uh, Mm, right side vanishing point only to cut only to cut remember and that's what i have done in the buildings also when you see building from outside from inside it's a one thing from outside you one thing anyway just so that you once you start once you do it as simple as easy as what actually there's no kind of it's not nuclear science just try it out yourself if need be just just look at this lecture later on it's very, very easy that you can actually see. Just look for two-point perspective. And uh, on web also, you'll get a lot of uh, kind of tutorials, which is going to tell you how, to tell you differently, uh, but but it's okay. Why not learn from other people also? Like, why not learn different ways, yeah? So you never know which one cracks with you. So, great, so, superb. So can I, it's time to say bye. Uh, have a very nice Sunday tomorrow. Stay safe, stay healthy. Yeah, rest well. The shin says true. I look around the house now in different way. It's so nice to hear that.